Hello everyone Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Welcome back again to my lecture video Okay Today we are going to learn on how to calculate the moment of inertia about the centroidal x and y axis So where is centroidal x and y axis? Ah, okay So please refer to this uh, area here Okay So in this area So we have the common x axis and also y axis so the centroidal x and y axis is the axis that goes through this centroid location or centroid point of this area and this one are x prime and also y prime so in the previous lecture we've already learned on how to calculate the moment of inertia about this x and also y axis okay so today we want to calculate moment of inertia about this centroidal x prime and also y prime exists here ah, okay so first before we calculate it make sure we separate this area into common shapes ah, okay ah. so in this situation we want to uh, select this rectangle okay we have common shape a rectangle a triangle okay and then to create this area we want to remove this part okay remove this part here means that we want to remove this rectangle uh, so this is the meaning uh, okay we need to uh, determine first okay which part that we want to uh, add and which part we are, we want to remove uh, okay and please use this table uh, okay use this table easier uh, easier for us uh, to do less mistake if we uh, calculate it using this table here Okay Now we have Part number 1 is triangle Part number 2 is The square And part number 3 is the Rectangle uh, Okay So these two here This one here Is the equation to calculate The moment of inertia About the centroidal X and Y axis If you refer back to the previous lecture The difference of this equation And the previous equation Is this part here Okay in this equation, we have this one, y bar and also x bar. So, this y bar here is the location of centroid y okay, for this area, this one. And x bar here is the centroid x okay, of this area here. Ah, okay. And this one here is the centroid of each common shape. Okay, this shape, this shape and also this shape. So, it means that the centroid of the whole area minus with centroid of each common shape uh, that is the difference uh, okay so to calculate it first of all yes we need to have this one okay the location of centroid for each common shape okay this triangle rectangle and also sorry square and also the rectangle so how to determine the centroid here so please refer to the previous lecture centroid lecture video okay also in the link okay down here okay then the next one we need to have ix bar for each common shape uh, okay so ix bar for each common shape has a different equation okay for a triangle here is 1 over 36 bhq for a square is 1 over 12 bhq okay and rectangle also 1 over 12 bhq uh, okay, so this one here, you need to refer to the appendix to know the equation for each common shape here. Okay, refer to the table. Lah. Okay, next, this one here, IY, okay, slightly different. Lah. Okay, B and H, just change the position. Lah. Okay, this one here, this one, and also this one. Then when we calculate, we insert the value. Okay, B here represents the base. Lah. B here, H is this one. And then we will get this value, yeah, 2.25, 2.25, 6.75, 6.75. 6 ah, this one negative. Why negative? <laughs> okay, if you refer back to this part here, okay, what we want to do is that we want to remove this rectangle. So it means that if we want to remove, we must make ix becomes negative because we want to remove. Ah, huh? ix negative. I Y also negative, okay. If you want to add positive, if you want to remove negative, that's it. Simple, uh, okay. 
Next, because I x and I y already, we've calculated it. Next, we want to calculate this one. Area times y bar minus y wave square. Uh, don't forget square. Eh? Okay. So when we calculate okay, area here, of course, lah. Eh? Okay. Area for triangle is this one, one over two times three times three, and then this one here. Huh? For this area here, the y bar is one point two two. Okay. How do we know this one? Huh? We did this in the centroid lecture video. Okay, refer to that video. Ah. Okay, I already show you on how to determine this one here, y bar and also this x bar here. So, you just insert this value here. Okay, in this situation here, y bar is positive 1.22. So, 1.22 minus, this one is what? Y. Ah. So, y is 1. Okay, 1.22 minus 1 square. And for this one here, x bar, the value is negative so if the value is negative make sure you use that negative value here so negative 0 0.348 minus x wave is what x is this one ah minus 1 so we get this one 8.177 okay next for this one here for the square here also same ah y bar is 1.22 minus 1.5 this one okay x bar is zero negative zero point three four eight minus minus again one point five so means that it will be negative zero point three four eight plus one point five huh. okay you need to use if negative so use negative compulsory uh, okay then when we calculate we got the value eleven point nine four four okay same goes with this rectangle but the difference is this one. Okay, the rectangle, we insert, we put the value negative. Ah. Why negative? Of course, lah, because the rectangle part is the part that we want to remove. So, we put negative also. So, Ix also negative. This one also, A times this one also is negative. Ah, okay, so the part that we want to remove, negative. Okay, next. If you refer to this equation again, we want to do Ix plus A y bar minus y wave square. Okay, so that's why I create this column here. Okay, to calculate this part, this part, and also this part here. Uh, okay, for each common shape lah. Then, ah, uh, the final answer, Ix prime and also I y prime is the summation of this whole i x bar plus a y here this one a a y square here this one and also i y bar is this one okay so the summation value is for i x prime is 8.0399 meter cube and for i y prime is 19.692 meter uh, sorry not cube uh, meter power of 4 uh, Okay, so the moment of inertia, the unit is meter power of 4. Uh, based on this one, uh, if the question give you meter, so meter lah. If the question give you centimeter, so centimeter. Okay, but it will be power of 4. Okay, uh, so this is how you calculate the moment of inertia about the centroidal x and also y axis. So if you have any question, feel free to ask me. Okay. So hopefully we can see you again in the next lecture video. Bye bye.